Welcome to Newsmax TV. I'm Kathleen Walter. The tragic shooting in Arizona has cast a spotlight on American political rhetoric, with some on the left pinning blame on conservatives. Joining us on the phone with reaction is the man who's been referred to as America's toughest sheriff, Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio of Arizona. His county is just north of where the shooting took place. Welcome back to Newsmax TV, Sheriff. Thank you. Let's start with Pima County Sheriff Clarence Dupnick's comments blaming vitriolic rhetoric in politics and Rush Limbaugh for the shooting. Do you think that this is right? Well, I don't know about Rush. He's a friend of mine, uh, but uh, I don't know what he's talking about. I don't like to criticize uh, my colleagues. However, uh, uh, he's elected, and uh, I presume uh, he uh, says what he wants to say. I don't agree to it. I'm a federal, former federal law, top federal law enforcement official, and uh, understand you have to be very careful uh, when you're conducting an investigation to make sure there's no pretrial uh, publicity that may affect the case and give the perpetrator a chance uh, to uh, use comments made, especially by the chief investigator, uh, of, uh, which is, happens to be the sheriff. So I think you have to be careful what you say during those circumstances. Do you think that he overstepped his bounds uh, in his official capacity as sheriff to jump into the political fray? Well, you know what? Sheriffs are elected like I am. Thank God they're elected. I'm sure if he was a police chief, he'd probably be fired tomorrow. Uh, I'm not trying to defend him, but uh, he's the one that uh, runs that sheriff's office. I do not. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned with, if he's referring to me in his rhetoric, then I'm going to be very angry if he personalizes it towards me. Then I'm going to defend myself, which unfortunately I would have to talk about politics and what's been happening to me the past three years, including in his own county when I went down there. So I don't want to go and, and, and keep talking about politics. I don't think we should do so. Uh, over this tragedy. In remarks after the shooting, Sheriff Dupnik also said Arizona has become a mecca for anger, hatred, and bigotry. Is this a veiled shot at those of you who support tough anti-illegal immigration laws? Well, I don't know what he's referring to, but I would presume uh, probably he's talking about the illegal immigration in his mind because he opposed uh, the new law, 1070, and said he was not going to enforce it. Uh, that's probably the first time you heard of Clarence uh, getting some national publicity, and now we have this situation. So I don't know what he's thinking about, but I, if I was a betting guy, I probably would uh, believe that he's also talking about the rhetoric when you're dealing with the illegal immigration problem that has been national uh, uh, around the uh, world, actually, uh, under that new law that was uh, passed by the legislature. Sheriff, the investigation into the accused shooter, Jared Loeffner, reveals a picture of a disturbed individual into left-wing politics. Why then have some in the media blamed the right? And is it fair that Sarah Palin's name has been brought into this? Well, I don't think it's fair. Uh, I have to, once again, personally, I have to say that I have been uh, threatened constantly and demonstrators and threatened by elected officials calling me Nazi, Hitler, every name in the book. Yet I haven't heard of anybody speak out in the Democrat uh, administration saying that's not right. Uh, I, uh, so I look at it that way. But, you know, I'm a big guy. Uh, I know what I'm doing, and uh, I expect to get controversy. Uh, but um, it should be fair. Why are they blaming her? I mean, uh, they put me in crossfires. They put me in KKK uniforms. They put me constantly calling me Hitler and everything else, and I'm talking about uh, activists, they say I should be dead. They got rewards out for me. Uh, I mean, so why isn't anybody talking about uh, this sheriff? What, am I I'm not a human? I'm the sheriff. I understand that, a law enforcing guy. But why aren't they talking about, I'm talking about the Democrats. They're all investigating me, the Justice Department. But why aren't they concerned about this sheriff? So the double standard has to go, you say? Yes. Yes. Maybe out of all this, it will go. Who knows? All right. Well, authorities say that Loeffner had a history of behavioral problems, a suspension from community college, 
rejection by the U.S. military. And now we learn that the sheriff may have known about death threats made before by Loeffner, though not against Giffords, and yet he was able to buy a gun. Were there missed opportunities, in your view, along the way that could have helped him and potentially prevented the shootout? You know, I can't question. Uh, I, I wasn't down there. I don't run this investigation. I don't run the sheriff's office. But uh, let's, let's just twist this around. Say it was me that made those statements. I'd be blistered by the Justice Department, by everybody. No one is t uh, from the uh, uh, government is talking about uh, Dubnik. They're not criticizing him. Isn't that interesting? But if it was me, what do you think would have happened? I'd probably be investigated and everything else like I already am. Early in Dupnik's career as sheriff, he suggested that citizens in a part of Pima County buy guns to protect themselves because his department lacked the resources. But now in the aftermath of Saturday's shooting, he's been highly critical of Arizona's gun culture. What do you think of your state's gun laws weighing the safety of law-abiding citizens against tragedies like this one? Well, you know, I'm not, I, 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 I believe in the uh, Second uh, Amendment. Uh, I shouldn't say this, uh, but I already said it publicly because I don't lie when some national asks me if I carry a gun. If I said yes, I would be lying. Uh, on the other hand, I believe that citizens should have the right to carry a weapon. We've had this, uh, you could carry weapons in Arizona for years and years and years uh, out in the open. What's the difference whether you put a jacket over it? So I'm not against, uh, you know, I, 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 people should be able to carry a weapon that they want. The only thing I say, if you do have a weapon, I think 99% of people do this. Get a little training, make sure you shoot the weapon straight. Uh, so I don't think that's a big concern. So I don't know why the sheriff... Uh, is worried about uh, the weapons, but he's not alone. The majority of police chiefs, police chiefs will say the same thing. I don't say the same thing, but if you took a survey, most police chiefs will say, no, this is awful to have these type of uh, gun laws. Sheriff, last question for you real quickly. What about security for members of Congress? Should the sheriff have dispatched a deputy to the Giffords event, and do you favor additional security for members of Congress? Once again, we're second-guessing, uh, what do you call it, Monday night quarterbacking. So I don't, uh, I don't know the situation there. Uh, I do know that my office is always available uh, if somebody uh, wants, uh, you know, needs help. Uh, when I was down there talking to 300, uh, I mean, to people, and I had 300 demonstrators and they had a top FEMA county official leading the demonstration against me, I didn't see anybody ask, if I needed help uh, from the sheriff's office, nobody was there. It was uh, pre-announced. Everybody knew I was coming. Everybody knew I was going to have demonstrators. Uh, so, you know, that's probably his policy. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to question his policy about whether you should have security every time a, a congressperson is talking uh, in an open forum. But, you know, here in Maricopa County, if they want help, I'll send my posse, my army out there to help them. Sheriff, what, if anything, can we learn from this event, this tragic situation? Well, uh, if it was strictly talking about the vicious murders uh, and shootings, I think uh, uh, that uh, that's just another situation regarding law enforcement. Uh, but I think this has gone into politics now. Uh, people are using this uh, for their own political agenda. I don't think that's right. I don't think we should second guess. I think we should let the criminal justice system uh, do its job and, and, and don't have too much pretrial publicity to help this guy and give him, uh, uh, you know, help him and, uh, and give him a chance to, uh, uh, to uh, defend himself and uh, probably utilize statements that have been made uh, to his benefit to try to get out of this. I think that we have to be very careful on what we say, especially law enforcement officials or government officials. I think right now we ought to shut our mouth and let the system take its course. That's why I'm a little uncomfortable talking about it, but I'm talking about it more as you asked about the politics and allegations made about this great state of Arizona, uh, whether directly or indirectly. So I take issue with that, we are not tombstone. I mean, we don't have gun battles on uh, downtown uh, Phoenix every 
Uh, now, we may have some gun problems when people kill people down here, but uh, uh, that's my concern right now is the political part of this, and we ought to shut up and let the uh, justice system take its course. All right, Maricopa County Sheriff Joe Arpaio, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.